They have waited and they have queued every day for 10 months, sharing a deep desire to see justice served, each with their own sense of loss. This evening at the Palais de Justice, the verdict in France's biggest ever terror trial was delivered. 19 men convicted of being involved in the attacks that killed 130 people in November 2015. Some emerged with a smile, others more resigned. Well, I feel relieved because it's kind of over now, this part of the, this whole story. Uh, it's not the end for me. I don't think it's the end for a lot of people in there. Cedric Rizzo was at the Bataclan concert hall when the terrorists struck. As the band played, the gunshots were barely audible and the carnage unfolding unimaginable. 90 people were shot dead. We were also um, ready to, to die. Thibault and his wife Anne Law had to hide for three I've hours inside before escaping. Both testified in court. The trial will be over, but uh, every day we have to live with the Bataclan. And uh, everything stopped with that uh, event. Devices were also detonated at the Stade de France. Sowing terror across the capital. You can live a perfectly normal life mm. and uh, just in a matter of a, sec a few seconds uh, you, uh, you realize with uh, an absolute clarity that uh, the life as you knew it uh, is over. The terrorists also opened fire on people in restaurants and cafes. It was a bloodbath on the streets of Paris. Four months after the attacks, the only surviving member of the group that carried out the atrocities, Salah Abdeslam, was arrested in Brussels. Today he was given a life sentence without parole. I don't have any hate or I don't care. I, I was just happy to see the the trial and the French justice uh, do its work. They are scarred by what they saw, yet survived, to see the strength of the law punish those responsible. But the memories of that night and the ghosts of 2015 will always stir. Lucy Watson, News at 10, Paris.